From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Much of human history is defined by the slow, continual struggle to understand the universe around us, whether in spiritual or scientific terms. Some ideas, like phrenology, are debunked shortly after their invention. Others, such as the principles of physics, are the founding concepts of modern civilization. And then there's alchemy. The practice known as alchemy is not uniquely European. Alchemists practiced in ancient India, China, and Egypt. European alchemists believed their traditions descended from Hellenistic Greece, which in turn inherited this knowledge from Egypt and Babylon. Today, the phrase alchemy invokes visions ripped from the pages of fantasy novels, sinister wizards in dusty laboratories, toiling over secretive magical experiments. But what exactly is alchemy, and why do some people think it works? Here's where it gets crazy. In many ways, alchemy can be considered a proto-science, the predecessor of modern-day chemistry. This blend of magic and scientific knowledge was shrouded in superstition and secrecy. Like modern scientists, alchemists attempted experiments in hopes of creating a measurable, reproducible change. However, magical rituals, incantations, and spells would often form part of their work. The goals of European alchemists were equally unorthodox. Many dreamed of discovering the mythical Philosopher's Stone, an object with the ability to turn base metals into gold. Others hoped to prolong their lives through the use of magical elixirs. From this strange overlapping practice of magic and science, alchemists produced some genuine scientific breakthroughs, including discoveries about metallurgy, basic chemistry, and pesticides. And alchemists weren't all villainous charlatans. Practitioners included the intellectual luminaries of their time, such as Roger Bacon and Isaac Newton. Alchemy's history is also littered with mysterious figures who allegedly managed to accomplish astounding feats. These figures included the enigmatic Count Saint Germain, a European intellectual rumored to have discovered the secret to immortality. Then there's the mythical Hermes Trismegistus, a symbolic figure who, to alchemists, represents the combination of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian god Toth. While this amalgamation of religion and science may seem strange in the modern age, during this time in history the two concepts were inextricably linked. Alchemists were as concerned with philosophical or spiritual aspects of their experiments as they were with physical changes. This approach is most obvious in descriptions of the ultimate alchemical goal, the arcane magnum opus or great work. The Great Work is a concept rooted in symbolism and shrouded in codes and riddles. A similar concept of the Great Work occurs in the practice of Freemasonry. Some conspiracy theorists claim the world's elite have suppressed the practice of alchemy. Predictably, the mainstream dismisses these claims. After all, if magical rituals and esoteric philosophies really could grant eternal life or transform one metal into another, wouldn't the practice be more common? To say the least, it's tough to believe that alchemical experiments somehow worked and were later kept secret by a small group of people for centuries. However, it's also true that alchemists spent a great deal of time obscuring their works. In some cases, it's unclear exactly what they were trying to do. All that mainstream science can say for sure is that the vast majority of alchemical experiments don't work. Unless, of course, there's something they don't want you to know.